I'm Andre Navarro of Ocean Earth Green, and welcome back to Baja Adventure Day 3, where we'll be exploring the Rosarito Beach Pier from ground, air, and below the surface as we dive down and paddle out from shore all the way to the end, all the way to the bottom. But first, I have to introduce you to an awesome little restaurant. So delicious, we ate here almost every day. Located in the Festival Plaza of Rosarito Beach, El Patio Cantina Cocina Mexicana. The dining is clean and cozy, the health is very friendly and accommodating, and the prices are good, especially for the quality and flavor. We ate at a couple of other larger nearby restaurants where the food was horrible and prices ridiculous. That's what also makes this quiet little breakfast, lunch, and dinner spot stand out. Here are some examples of the yummy food we love. Chilaquiles with fresh vegetables and fried potatoes. Simple yet delicious and done right. The chips were fresh fried and still crunchy under the yummy sauce and cheese. As you can pretty much tell from the picture, all the food is fresh and made with care. The chilaquiles also come with the option of having meat or eggs on top. I messed up and ordered them plain. They also offer a chilaquila omelet, which is awesome. Up next, my girlfriend's pancakes, eggs, fried potatoes with vegetables. She said they were as delicious as they look. And again, everything done right. It's hard to tell from the pictures, but these plates are big and so are the servings. Now for my favorite surprise, delicious coffee from Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm not a big fan of coffee and occasionally drink it to wake up and sharpen my mind. And after diving several days straight, that's exactly what I needed. As soon as I tasted this coffee, I knew something was extremely different. It was delicious with flavors of dark roast, chocolate, and other unique flavors. Now that we're full and awake, it's time to head out to the beach. Just a short walk from our hotel, we make our way across the hot sand to the cold Pacific Ocean. It's time to explore beneath the Rosarito Beach Pier. And this will be our entry today from below the Rosarito Beach Pier, where we're gonna paddle out along these pilings all the way to the end, all the way to the bottom. I haven't dug this area before, and I haven't seen any pictures online of anyone who has, so I really don't know what to expect, other than probably a lot of starfish and crabs along the pilings. So here we go, explore below the surface, of the Rosarito Beach Pier. Paddling out today was no joke. The waves have been slowly building as there's a big swell filling in. We're getting out early before the waves and current destroy the visibility. It's a very cool view beneath the pier, swimming along the pilings covered in muscle towards the surface. The majority length of the pier is now closed due to major repairs needed. The further we go out, we notice there are several wood planks missing from up top and the very end of the pier appears to have broke off. Through the murk and low visibility, I noticed these small crabs running around, popping in and out of the sandy bottom. There were more and more of them as I got closer to the piling. And at the bottom of the pilings was Krabby City. I think these are Florida stone crabs, but I'm not sure. And they were all extremely busy eating the mussels that had been knocked to the bottom. large crab defending its muscle leftovers and the two junior crabs aren't having it. They want to eat too. Check out the small crab going full throttle as it battles the big crab and the big crab just going 
And the pines are full of interesting algae, soft corals, sponges, seaweed, along with my favorite large colorful okra, sea stars. The current and surge keeps increasing and it's impossible to stay steady in one location. The only way to get a steady shot is to keep moving forward or down. As the visibility is quickly deteriorating, it's only sort of okay at the very bottom. Towards the end of the pier, where it bends. So we still have a little bit more to go. It's extremely rough today. Lots of waves and current up top and at the bottom. The little crabbies running around and getting blown all over the place. So we're getting tossed all over the place too. From the top to the bottom. Lots of cool starfish and sponges along the piling. Now we're gonna continue along. The bend and back me there, all the way to the end, all the way to the bottom. If I can make it down, I should be able to. Right here where we're at, it's probably about 20 feet. I don't think it's going to get much, much deeper right there, maybe 25 feet, which I'm pretty sure I could do. So let's continue on. Check it out. Aside from all the crab activity, I love the surreal feeling of cruising the bottom, where the sand horizon blends into the water. It's so murky now, I can barely see the sun, and looking up just gets darker.
It appears that this pier was also used as a ship or boat dock at one time. Here's some cormorants checking me out, along with the lone pelican. And here's a better view of the missing planks towards the end of the pier, leading to the entire missing end. And here we are finally at the very end of the pier. Now the water is extremely turbulent with no visibility. The bottom looks like an underwater sandstorm and you can't tell which way is up or down by the light. Let's take one last dive to check it out. Today was challenging and fun. Check back soon for day 4 of Baja Adventures as we dive Calafia Cove. I hope this experience has been helpful and entertaining. And if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them in the comments. Please give this video a like and share with those interested in visiting or diving Rosarito Beach.